Hi. Uh, good morning. We are going to see today the practice num uh, number one. Uh, in practice number one of the quality in, in the subject qualitative marketing research, we are going to see uh, how uh, must be the planning of the uh, qualitative research technique, all the steps we have to uh, think about before we gather the information, and also the transcription. Uh, the, uh, how is the, proce the, the procedure to um, go from video or audio uh, information to text, uh, to trans uh, transcribe the discourse from audio and video to text. So let's going to see, uh, as, as, you, as you know, we are going to uh, follow the steps that are included in our marketing, qualitative marketing research process. So, as we see, uh, section number four is related to the purpose, objective, and type of research. And in this case, we are going to focus on the research objectives. I want to highlight that uh, before you plan or you design a qualitative marketing research, it's very important to take into account the objectives of the study. Uh, so you are going to uh, work together with the design of the techniques and the objectives that you propose uh, in your study. It's very important. So let's go to see. There are, or oh, we are going to consider different different uh, types of techniques uh, where we are going to gather, uh, uh, by which we are going to gather information. Uh, one type of, of uh, technique is going to be discussion groups, group techniques. We are going to, uh, in general, use focus group. We are going to also use in-depth interview. This is similar to the previous one, but only uh, interacting with only one person. And finally, re uh, uh, observation methods. So let's go to think about discussion group. What, what uh, um, uh, planning, the planning uh, of the technique uh, includes? As we see, the first important thing when we are planning a, me a meeting or this kind of discussion groups, we have to take into account the objectives that, uh, that we consider that we want to achieve. That means uh, have a clear idea of the information we want to gather from the individuals, from the group of individuals. And these uh, objectives must be uh, uh, the, 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 the basic element to create the script, el guion in Spanish. So uh, whenever we create, once we have created the script, we have to take into account how, or to explain how to select the participants. Because depending on the type of study, who is our target group, we are going to consider one type of individuals or others. The group size is also important. Uh, the place where the, the, the discussion group is going to take uh, to be uh, performed, the number of meetings, and so on, on how the meetings are going to be moderated. Afterwards, we have to consider elements regarding the, 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 the meeting itself, how we are going to begin the meeting, or how they are, they are going to be the elements uh, to the, the, the development of the, of, of the meeting, training, discussion, normalization, and so on. And finally, how we are going to plan uh, to, or, uh, to analyze the information. Uh, regarding the in-depth interview is very similar, but remember that in the in in-depth interview, we only interview one person per time uh, each. So uh, in the planning, we need to, as, as in the same uh, case as before, prepare the script. This kind of this set of questions, open questions, uh, that are going to help us to organize the information we are going to get. And it's very important that this script is according to the objectives. And afterwards, similar to the, in the previous one, the selection of participants, duration of interview, place, and so on. In the observation method, it's a little bit different. We have to consider the, the topic or the theme we are going to gather information. The observation unit, what things we, we want to observe. The type of observation, are we going to use mechanical observation, a, 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 a personal observation, we are going to uh, base our observation in new technologies. How are we going to register the information, record the parameters, and so on. So let's go to jump to the, to the practical exercise. So in general, every say, qualitative technique includes the, the planning, the previous planning includes these elements. The first one is a script elaboration. And to do the script, to, to create or to elaborate the script, we need clear objectives. So 
uh, each objective is going to have uh, is going to be reflected in the in the in the script by questions. Once we have that and taking into account the company we want to we are working on, how we are going to select the interviewees, uh, and uh, depending on the on the length of the of the script, uh, what is going to be the duration of our interviews? If it's for example. Uh, an in-depth interview is going to be shorter. If it's a focus group, it's going to be longer because there are going to be more people interacting. And then, then the next thing is the location of the interviews. If it's going to be uh, in a physical place, it can be a, in a hotel, in a restaurant, in a depending on the on the um, on the study, or 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 even it can be online, and the number of necessary interviews or the necessary focus groups. <clears throat> so very, very important. So to elaborate the, the one summarizing, to elaborate the script, we need to have a clear idea of the objectives. Very important. Apart from that, um, exactly. We, we, uh, apart from that, we need that in our study, we need to remember that there are three basic elements in the studies we are doing in class the three uh, basic marketing variables that are customer experience. We need to have questions in our script regarding the idea or the elements that generate customer experience. We are going to have a more detail in this in the next uh, practical class that we are going to see with Carlos Mora. Also customer journey. We are going to use the, 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 the idea of customer journey map that I'm going to explain later. And finally, the customer profile. We need to include uh, questions regarding the customer profile, characteristics of the individual that can be helpful for further uh, analysis. So as you can see on the slide now, I'm going to give you an example of a customer journey map. In a customer journey map, basically, we try to um, disaggregate the experience of the individual in three different stages before for example, they have the experience itself, for example, visiting the hotel, visiting the restaurant, things, actions of the users, contact point or touch points, and uh, what are they feeling or what is happening? Uh, in, in this point, all these uh, touch points, uh, individuals can, uh, uh, can be satisfied, can be dissatisfied, or there can be things that can increase the customer experience or uh, generate a positive customer experience or negative. Uh, in the same way, uh, there are during during the experience, during the, for example, the stay of the individual in the hotel, there can be actions of the users and touch points as well. And finally, after the individual, once the individual is leaving the premises of the hotel or after the individual have left the hotel, there are also things that uh, must be uh, <clears throat> Consider this is the idea of customer journey map, where that we are going to see throughout the course. There is another example here by including some online uh, reservation uh, touch points. So this is the idea. Uh, summarizing, you need to create a uh, script to elaborate a script that includes things related to customer experience, customer journey, and customer profile, and they have to be specific to the company, to the uh, uh, sector and to the company that you are analyzing. Once we have created the script and gathered all the information, we are going to have videos or we are going to have audios. And these audios must be trans transcribed into uh, words, into um, a Word document or a PDF document. And let's going to see a short uh, a set of slides where we are going to explain specific elements regarding the transcription. So let's see. Regarding the transcription, as I told you, it's important that uh, once we have created the script, once we have done the field work, that means we have uh, uh, developed or performed the in-depth interviews, the uh, focus groups. Uh, after that, we need to transcribe what people have said into words, because we are going to analyze these words, these, these word documents 
with a software that we are going to talk later. We, will, we are going to do text to analysis. So what we need is to, as we can see in, on the images at the bottom of the, of the slide, we are going to develop the focus group or the in-depth interview. We are going to register properly, register it, either in video or in uh, audio. Afterwards, we are going to transcribe. It can be uh, automatically, it can be manually. And this transcription, the final document is going to be called primary document. That is going to be the one that we use to feed the software, to include the software to further analysis. So very important before we start, be careful with the software, with the uh, hardware, the device you use to uh, record the, the sessions, because sometimes the device, uh, the, the, because sometimes, for example, it can be a limitation in the, in the minutes that the device works because of a, a small, the, that the battery is very, a little bit small, or there can be many, many reasons. So be careful and be prepared. Because it's a pity you spend one hour, for example, speaking to a person, doing a personal interview, an in-depth interview, and you lose information. It's very difficult because at the end, you cannot repeat the interview. So let's go to see or to reflect, uh, to think about physical elements uh, that we have to take into, 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 into account before we do the, the, the recording and the transcription. We are going to divide this depending if we are going to be, if you are professionals or it's for learning purposes. For example, the focus group room. Uh, in a, from, from a professional point of view, uh, it should be an, ex, an exclusive uh, space or a room that is prepared, that is um, soundproof, uh, and that allows to, to properly record video and audio with uh, uh, high quality uh, lights and so on. In the case of learning, it can be a uh, the, the requirements are less, are less restricted. Uh, the important thing is as, that, it's, that, it, that, it's, that it's a, a room where sound is not, external sound is not a problem and where individuals can feel private, can, can feel confident to share their information, uh, to avoid interruptions. So audio and video recording. Uh, of course, if we are, from a professional point of view, the quality of the, of the audio recording must be very high. We need a lot of microphones to um, to um, record with high quality the, the responses of all the individuals. Uh, analogously, uh, the video registration must be done by professionals with uh, high quality cameras. And if the, the better the quality of the of the recording, the the, the more things can be done afterwards. Uh, for learning purposes the requirements are less, are less uh, strict. Uh, of course, we need that the audio is, uh, has a minimum quality because the less of the quality, the, the less is going to be also the quality of the automatic transcriptions, for example. We can use a mobile phone or a simple devices, but taking into account this, that the quality has to be uh, at least a minimum. Uh, intangible elements, for example, uh, regarding the transcription, um, there are automatic uh, softwares that can help us to transcribe. Also, there is there are uh, the, uh, in the last years there has been a huge development in natural language processing, and some softwares like uh, R Studio uh, have included this in this kind of uh, processors. In in the case of learning, it's going to be easier. Uh, in general, the transcription uh, is going to be done manually or using a simple uh, software that we are going to see, to see later. Regarding the data analysis, we are going to use Atlas T in the class. Uh, that is, is, is a professional software. Of course, professionals nowadays are using the last versions of the software and we are going to use version seven. But uh, version seven uh, is a very good way to get used to use this kind of uh, qualitative software. And finally, we need to take into account the incentive to participants. When, when we are doing a professional study, we have to take into account this and to uh, include this in the budget, to give, give some presents, some gifts to the individuals to motivate them to maybe be part in a individual technique or in a group technique. Take into account that we are going to ask for the, their participation for one hour or two hours of the time and we need to give them something back. On the other hand, 
uh, if we are doing an academic or a learning uh, study, uh, a study for teaching purposes, it's not needed to, to pay them or to give, it, give them in general any gift. And now to, to finish with this class, we are going to see the alternative for automatic tran transcription. Remember that we are going to do the, sections, the sessions and we are going to record either with a mobile phone, for example, or with a video camera. If we are talking about, for example, a group session or an in-depth interview that is done online, we can use, for example, Zoom or Google Meet to record the, um, the session. So whenever we have this video or audio, we can use, for example, Atlas T version seven, have a, the, fr from version seven, we can use the software to transcribe. Here you can, I, I leave you a, an example of, of this transcription. We are going to see that in class in detail. We can also do, do this uh, automatic tra transcription by using Word, the dictate or dictation uh, tool of Word, that it works pro pro pretty, pretty well. And there are also some websites that uh, do this trans translation uh, in, uh, online. For example, 360converter.com. Uh, be careful that in the last case, when you are using this kind of websites, uh, online transcription, that sometimes they have a limitation of in minutes. So sometimes maybe it's necessary to cut the video into two. If our video is 40 minutes and the limit of transcription in or the free transcription is 20 minutes, maybe we have to cut the video into first part and second part. In any case, in any case, if we are using Atlas T, Word, or any kind of other automatic transcription, it's necessary that afterwards we revise manually the transcription because the quality is limited. It's not very high. Sometimes the program make mistakes and we need to correct that mistakes. We need also to do this because we need to organize the document in a different way. In general, these programs uh, transcribe uh, uh, all the text continuously and we have to cut the text and to divide into different paragraphs to ease the uh, um, the task that we are going to do later on Atlas T. So the final docu document is going to be um, a structure like this. We have the, we are going to have the title of the of what we are going to do as you see in red and some tips of interest. Put the date, the time and the location of the interview and put, do not put real names uh, and replace them with acronyms. Why? Because of, uh, because we, don't, we want to, uh, by following the SMR recommendation, we need to reduce the personal information we ask for in, from individuals. At least all the information that is going to be in the program. We can keep these names for us and number the pages of the document. Apart from that, we need to include the question as you see in green, here we have the question, the question that was in the script, and the answer of the individual is in um, here, as you can see in blue. So uh, if we are talking about of a personal interview, we would have the first question, in-depth interview, one-to-one -one interview, first question, first answer. If we have a focus group, we would have first question and one answer per person in the focus group. Person one, person two, person three. And it's going to be in divided into different paragraphs. Okay, uh, interview one, two, three, and so on. And this is, this is it. I hope you have uh, learned something with this class and in following classes, we are going to see uh, what are the marketing variables we are going to study. And also in the next uh, video, we are going to start working with Atlas Team. Thank you very much for your attention. And see you in, in 